Hey y'all, it is Wednesday afternoon. I am on day four of classroom decorating, I think. Anyways, I am ready to work, so let's get started. I will show you guys what I'm going to accomplish today. Okay, so I'm about to put border up on the meeting wall, and I was gonna do the whole board today, but I didn't have time to go and get tape, so I'm gonna do as much as I can. So I don't really know what that'll be, but let's get started on it. So I'm going to attempt to clean off my desk. I've already done a little bit, although really I'm just shifting the junk to this table, but it's got to go somewhere until it finds its permanent home. So this is what I'm going to attempt to do right now. pretty much cleared off with the exception of that and so now I am going to unpackage my desk calendar I have to have a um, big desktop calendar I use it religiously every day I look at it cross it off write what uh, meetings I have or what schedule we're on so this is a must I have it every year and I need to get it placed and unpackaged first so I can actually use it morning y'all it is a saturday morning i think the last time that i talked to y'all was when was it wednesday when i was in my classroom i have just been editing that clip and i thought i would explain to you guys because it was not exactly what i wanted it to be or had hoped that it would be let me put this coffee down before i spill it um every work session that i have had so far has been so super productive and that session was just anything but productive. I went up there with the hopes of putting up the agenda board um, and like the traits, reason, idioms board and where I put the objectives and all that. Um, and as y'all saw, it took forever to get the border up. Then I ran out of the border, couldn't find the hot glue gun, um, couldn't find a hot glue stick, couldn't find, um, couldn't get the border to stop puckering. It was just, uh, everything went wrong then i tried to clean off my desk and the clip just stopped right in the middle of that because the battery in my camera died it was just not a productive classroom visit so i haven't been back since y'all haven't missed anything the classroom still looks exactly like it did 
my hand was getting tired, so I put y'all down. Um, so yesterday was so incredibly busy. I didn't get any work done. I got like some emails that I had to get out and some things that I had to top to people, like little plans and projects that they needed. Um, I got that done. I got those emailed. Um, I had like a little phone call meeting that I had to get done. I got that done. Um, I had to meet with my contractor for the house. We finalized the plans pretty much finalized. There's like two little details that I have to decide on and get back with him. But next week we're signing the contract, which is really exciting. Um, he has pushed back the start date, which I'm, oh, I'm upset about, but um, he was hoping we could start in August, but he said now it's looking more like September. <sighs> it's gonna be okay, I know it is. I just am so anxious for it to get started. I'm so ready to feel settled again. I have packed up my house I'm going to move in with my mom while I, um, while the house is being built because she lives closer to where the house is going to go. Um, so it'll be easier for me, and it's closer to school too. So it'll be easier for me to, you know, go to the house every uh, afternoon and look at what they're doing. Um, but I want to get this house, my house now, I want to get it um, completely emptied so that it'll show better. I think it'll show better if none of my furniture is in it. Um, so I'm packing up slowly and trying to get everything out. So I haven't felt settled in a really long time and I just want to, I want to be in a space where everything is in its place and I have decorated. Um, I like organized my fall decor the other day when I was going up in the shop and I was organizing everything and it just made me want to get fall stuff out and decorate for fall and then decorate for Christmas. And I'm not going to be able to do that this year. Um, I mean, of course my mom will decorate, but we have different styles, so I don't know. I'm just really, really anxious for the house to be finished and for me to be moved in and for just to all be over. It's an exciting time and it's an exciting process, but it is so stressful and so overwhelming and I don't know if I'll ever be able to do this again. So I'm ready for it to be done. So today I do plan on getting some of the bulletin board titles done. This is always a big thing with me because I use my silhouette cameo or I attempt to use my silhouette cameo I should say. Um, I love that cutting machine because you can do so much with it but y'all I am just not an expert with it and I would be better if I actually measured but that's my problem. I don't measure the board and then I don't measure what I'm cutting so I either get it to be really really big or really not big enough really really small. Um, and it's just always something that I have to go back and cut. So I am always happy when that part is done because that makes the board, but I don't know, it's just such a hard process for me. Some of you I'm sure could tell me an easier way to do it. I just, and I'm sure if I measured it would be easier, but I'm just, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a measurer. Um, I do that with furniture. Like I bought this huge, can y'all see this huge sectional in um, my house. I, I went to the store and I found it and I thought, oh, that's going to work. That'll be fine. Um, and I get it home and <laughs> my dad can't even get it in the door. And once we do, it's not going to fit where I wanted it to. So it can fit in one spot in the room, in the middle of the room. And it's just very hard to work with because it is so massive. So, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a good measurer. So I'm going to wing it on the bulletin board titles and hope that it works. And if not, then I will be right back in cutting again. But I hope to get that done today anyways. Long story short, I also need to, um, which I can't do this today because it's not in yet. I'm, I'm planning on doing a back to school picture book, um, YouTube video. So I went to Barnes and Noble and I got some of the books that I wanted, but I also ordered some on Amazon and those don't um, those aren't supposed to be delivered until Monday. So I can't do that um, video until Monday. Um, but I'm really excited about it. And I think that you guys will like it because I'm so super excited about these books. I cannot wait for, there's nothing like a picture book to get you in the mood to go back to school. So um, anyways, that's what I'm going to do today. And I will show you guys as I do it. Ooh, one more thing I almost forgot. I wanted to show y'all this adorable rug that I found on Walmart's website. I just ordered it for the classroom. I saw it originally on Instagram when I was searching on the tag um, classroom decor, I think. I'll link whoever it was. I don't remember what the teacher's name was, but I'll link her down below too because she's how I found it. And then I'll also link this 
um, rug down below so that y'all can see it if y'all want it because it is the cutest rug. I'm so excited. It comes in three sizes. I got it in the medium size because I thought the smallest would be too small, but the biggest was a little out of what I wanted to pay for it. So I got the medium size one, which again, you guys know I'm not good with measuring, so I don't know how big it'll be. I'm just going to wing it. Hopefully it'll be cute and big enough to do something with when I get it. But um, let me show you what it looks like. It's so cute. So here it is. Isn't it precious? Yes, it is an alphabet and it would be fabulous and perfect for younger grades, but I don't even think it's that babyish and I think it'd be fine for fifth grade too. <laughs> I mean, everybody has the alphabet. That's the universal thing. I think it's so cute. I love the little details. I'll zoom in closer so that you can see it. I am so excited about it. It did say that it wouldn't be here until um, August 3rd, but I'm hoping that it comes in sooner. I am really excited about it. Let's see the picture. I didn't even realize there was a picture of what it looks like there. Isn't it cute? I'm so, so super excited about it. It's lunchtime. I am fixing ramen noodles. Very delicious. It's all that I could think of to eat. I went to the grocery store like two nights ago, but I'm just not in the mood for anything else. Um, I started to just pop some popcorn, but I thought I'll just save that for supper. Um, so I'm gonna eat these delicious and absolutely terrible for you um, ramen noodles. So I'm waiting for the water to boil. I am watching Friends. Um, I posted on Instagram like, oh, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago that I was starting the show. I'm on season three, almost to the end of it. Um, Y'all couldn't believe, or Instagram couldn't believe that I had never seen Friends before. I am um, at the part, which I guess, spoiler alert, if you are like me and you've never seen Friends before, but I'm at the part where Ross and Rachel just broke up and um, he was with that other girl and he keeps saying that they were on a break, but they've broken up, which was just absolutely awful. Um, I love those two together. Chandler, I, like I've never seen the show, but I know like the major storylines because I haven't lived under a rock. I've heard about it. I've just never watched the show from start to finish. Um, and for the most part, I've never even seen like episodes. I just know that Ross and Rachel, I know they end up together and I know they have a kid together. Um, and I know Monica and Chandler get together. They haven't yet. And I've, I've looked up spoilers for it, and I know they don't get together until later, like maybe season six or seven, but I really want those two to get together. She was ri with Richard, which was played by Tom Selleck, I think. Um, I've never seen Tom Selleck. I know who he is. He was disgusting with that must mustache. I think that like everybody thinks he looks good with that. I don't know, do y'all? <laughs> but he was just disgusting with the mustache. But then she ran into him at the video store uh, a couple of episodes after they broke up and he had um, shaved the mustache off and he was so good looking then. So I, I really um, am a fan with him without the mustache, but with the mustache, ooh, not my thing. So anyways, I am going to wait for the water to boil and to watch Friends and then I'm going to eat and get back to work. So I just wanted to check in with y'all. I was going to do my bulletin board titles, but the computer that has that software downloaded on it is at my mom's house. So the only one I have is this little laptop and this is a MacBook. I think it's the Air. It's not the Pro. The Pro is the one I got at her house and I left it um, up there. This one's just like my little one that I carry around with me because it's very lightweight, but it doesn't have any um, USB ports or there's only a um, like a place to charge it right here and then a place for the headphones. So it's really good if you're just like searching online or watching Netflix or YouTube or something like that. But for work, it's not very practical, which I didn't want it for work. So that's why I got it. But um, I need the one that does have the USB port so I can use my Silhouette software. So anyways, when I go up there this afternoon, I'll bring it back and hopefully then get the bulletin board titles done. Okay, so it is the afternoon right now. It's, well, it's late afternoon. Gosh, it's 3.40. I didn't even realize it was that late. I am printing out word wall letters from a word wall. Um, I, I have an idea in my mind 
and I don't know if it's gonna work but I started working on it anyways and I'm just gonna wing it and hope it works but I'm printing them on I haven't even I've got the word wall up I've showed you all that but I haven't I've got the tape for it but I haven't mapped out the boxes yet so I don't know how big each box is so I'm not really all that sure about the size but y'all know I don't measure so we're gonna wing it we're gonna hope it works but I have printed out all of if I can show y'all the letters so here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do which is different than I've done normally I just make little circles on the computer and cut them out and print them on whatever colored paper I'm gonna do or even um, white and then I just cut it out but I have printed it out on this pink paper I'm going to try and cut it out in a box form and then put um, well I'm going to use cardstock so that it will be a little bit um, sturdier but I'm going to put hang on I'm going to put a white piece of paper behind it so that when I cut it out you aren't going to be able to see it that much but when you cut it out it's going to have like a white line I do that a lot with black um, and I could even do it with black I think it would look good um, but the tape is going to be black and the border on that wall is black so I thought some white might give it a little bit more definition and make it pop a little bit more than the black so I'm going to attempt to do it with the white and we're going to see if it works and then it may work and I may go through the entire trouble of doing all 26 letters and then I have to redo them because they're too big or too small I think they're going to be too big if anything I think they're going to work but if anything they're going to be too big I should just wait but I want to get it done so that on the off chance that it does work, I can cross that off my list. So we're just going to cross our fingers and hope that it works and it's the correct size. these papers is that not the best feeling when you get the correct number and you didn't even try to or am i just a big dork ah i'm so excited about that so all of the word wall cards are in the little laminating sheets i have friends on my computer the laminator is ready so let's get these laminated Call me Olivia Pope. Okay, so I've got all of the cards made and laminated. I'm gonna cut them out right now. I have just finished an episode of Friends that was just absolutely heartbreaking. It was called the one with the tiny t-shirt, I think was the title of it, but it was where Rachel goes on her first date after her and Ross break up. She goes out with that Matt character, I think his name is Matt, the one that Ross was initially jealous of. And um, anyways, 
Rawls gets real mad and demands all his stuff back, including the shirt that she loves to sleep in. And then at the end of the episode, he um, gives it back to her. It was just so, so sweet. I'm loving this show. Oh, it's just, it was heartbreaking. But anyways, now I'm gonna cut these out and see how they look with the white border around it. And that's Libby in the background, my mom's little dog squeaking a toy. She's been with me all day and she's done really well. She slept almost the entire day and I've gotten a lot of work done, but now she's kind of getting restless and she wants to play. So there is a squeaky toy noise in the background. <laughs> finished I really like how they turned out I'm hoping that they're not too big for the board um, they are sort of uneven which I wanted them to be that way so it would look more homemade but if in case you're <laughs> wondering why I did that like some of them are thinner on one side um, so I like that look but I'm hoping that they work I'm hoping that they're not too big for the board so we shall see Hey y'all, it is Wednesday afternoon. Um, I'm about to go back up to the classroom again to work. My back seat currently has my evidence and vocabulary title in it along with my house plan blueprint. And then the passenger side has a, hang on, let me flip it around so that y'all can see. It has a bag full of stuff that needs to be laminated and I don't know if y'all can see there's border in there there's these little things for the um, meeting board evidence titles there's my days of the week for the classroom book a day board so there is a ton of stuff to put up I need to laminate those big giant signs I have that little laminator that you saw that I keep at home and I do um, almost all the laminating that I can with that but it'll only do a paper size eight and a half by 11. so for those those are of course too big to fit in my little laminator so i've got to do those at school so i'm hoping that there's laminating paper on and that i don't have any issues and i'm hoping that i can get a good bit done um today and show you guys so that's what we're going to do today so let's get started okay so the vocabulary title is done it's laminated i'm going to cut it out do the little scalloped edges, possibly dot it if I can find a sharpie in the mess that is my desk, and then I am going to put it on the board. So let's hope that it works. <laughs> Okay, vocabulary board is finished. The title fit perfectly. I didn't measure it, of course, but it worked, thank goodness. So this one is done except for, um, I may put some sort of little poster there just for the beginning of the year because it's not gonna have anything on it until we forget our first set of words, but I do want it to have something up um, for the first day of school and for back to school night. Um, so I'm gonna do something, but the basis of the board is done and I'm happy with it. Now it is time to finish the agenda board, the meeting board. Last time I was up here, I had ran out of border. So I brought border today and I have made the um, VIP, which is gonna go either here or here, I can't decide right now, but one of them will go in one of the boxes. And then I've got the cameo labels for Table Wars, which will go in the other. So let's get these stuck. Hopefully they will be the correct size too. Okay, so I'm finished with the work session. I don't even know what number I'm on at this point, but um, let me show you what I've gotten done. Not quite as much as I had hoped, but it's late and I'm gonna call it a day. So let's see what I got done. So the first thing that I'm super excited to have done is the meeting board, the agenda board. Let me flip you guys around so that y'all can see it in its entirety. 
agendas right there. Then the table wars, which is what I do to um, increase student engagement, which I'll talk about later on if you don't follow my Instagram and don't know about table wars. Then VIP, I'll explain that later on too because I'm going to do that a little bit differently and I'm super excited about how I'm going or how I have it planned. Um, that's where I put standard and objective. And then we've got trait, root, and idiom of the day. Then, I don't even know if I've showed y'all this. This is the genre board, of course. I've got the picture books out. I've ran out of um, containers. Those three pink are from the, uh, it's not the Target dollar spot, it's just in the school supply section, but I need to get three more. And then I haven't got any of the books out yet. I'm waiting to do the word wall. And as you can see, it hasn't gotten done yet. I have added the um, days of the week to the should be classroom book a day. It's picture book a day. Same thing though. But I've done all of the um, days of the week. So I'll put the book cover that we're reading that day um, for each one. And then I've got things made for here, but I forgot to bring them. But we're going to chart our weekly favorites there. And that's going to be at the bottom of the board. The only other thing that I did. Oh, no, no, I did two things. Um, the other thing that I did, I um, just have this space just for generic um, anger charts that we're doing that week and like any type of work that the kids do is just a space that we can use uh, to display their work so it doesn't have anything on it right now but of course it will as the year progresses and then the last thing I did today was add the vocabulary title and like I said I'm gonna put something here like an anchor chart or something just to give it something but I don't want to um, like put a lot of stuff that can't be removed because I want available space there so that the kids, like when we do activities with the words, I can actually ha have space. I can actually have a space that's designated for their work. So I'm gonna leave it mostly blank, but I do want something to give it a little something. So the other side I've bordered, I haven't put um, a little label. Oh, it's going, it's not focusing. Hang on, I don't know what to do. I do need to put a little label right here um, for the date, but other than that, this one's pretty much going to stay blank because it is going to be my main whiteboard for instruction. So that's going to be it for this week's vlog. I will talk to you guys next week. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more teacher-related videos. Bye!